some bad news for us at least. We were out here camping over in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. The police just came by and told us that this was a no camping area even though there's no signs that say that there's no camping out here. And he's like, we can't reside on national forest land. And I'm like, um, I think there's a difference in terminology here. We're camping we're within our 14 day camping limits here. He got kind of belligerent with me and told me that I was residing here. And he's using sp very specific words, reside, I'm residing here. He was just being quite frankly a jerk. And he was trying to tell me something about my personal life that I was residing here, but I wasn't. And I had to set the record straight because he was using very strong language with us saying, well, we usually just arrest people for this. And I'm just gonna give you a verbal warning. Like he was total abuse of power, total abuse of power. So anyways, we're gonna go find a place now. Well, clearly, this is not another camping spot. Hmm. I'm at Cracker Barrel. Uh, we pulled out of the camping spot and I had a little bit of a flat tire. I had a nice screw wedged into the uh, right driver's side tire. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yep, there it is. It's right there. Yeah, so I wasn't gonna go risk compromising that tire by going to find another camping spot and um, he was kind of rocky and you know have these all-terrain tires for a reason um, so I was concerned that it could be really compromised and I'd wake up the next day and it would be bad and um, I wouldn't be able to get into town and since I'm on a forested road if I needed to tow out well that's gonna cost me because I'm more than a hundred yards off of a um, or a hundred feet off of a um, paved road. So I came into town and I waited for a discount tire to open on Monday so then I can get it fixed. I had to come into town anyways this week to uh, get a few groceries and get some packages. So I just came a few days earlier but needless to say that was a very trying experience with that park ranger who was using his authority to intimidate for sure. So uh, we did look it up. We were in an area that they considered restricted but there was just no signs that said that. Uh, we had to go actually download some maps to figure it out. So anyways, new uh, new thing for me to uh, look up these maps to see if there's any restrictions. Um, I've never just run across that before. So, um, And we were perfectly fine moving. We told them that. It was just when he started to uh, basically tell me that he was uh, had the right to arrest me for residing, residing in the National Forest, which was not true. I was not residing there. I was camping. Um, all because I don't own a home somewhere. Well, Lily and I are just gonna go on a little walk right now. Still trying to get in my uh, almost 9,000 steps in. Um, I've slacked off a little bit <laughs> with all the travel and stuff and moving around. But uh, doing about 7,000 steps almost daily. Not every day I'm getting them in, but I'm up to 7,000. So still working up towards that nine. Just a quick update. I ended up getting my tire fixed. Huge screw in that tire and um, just took it to discount tire where I actually got the tires. And what's great about that is they will fix the flat for free. And they also rotate your tires and everything too if you want. So I got all that done and got back together with Mark and Shay. And we're out here in Flagstaff on this beautiful national forest land. The only thing that I suppose I don't like is all the ATVs sometimes that come racing through here on these roads. And I know they're just having fun and everything, but it kicks up so much dust. So we actually were able to find a campsite that was a little bit further back off of the road. Or should I say Mark and Shay found it while I was hunkered down at the Cracker Barrel waiting for a discount tire to open up. And that's worked out really well. So we have a really nice spot back here. I will show you. I'm actually walking out to the road right now. Give me one second, I'll turn it around and I'll show you exactly how far out we are. All right, so here's the road and this is where our campsite is. So we just came from this direction right here and right over there. So what I love about it is that it's really far off the road and we don't have to worry about all the dust as much. And it's so quiet out here. I really love it. 
Um, we only have about four days left before we have to leave. So we'll be at our limit here at the Coconino National Forest and the Flagstaff area. Um, part of the Coconino National Forest was when we were in Sedona as well. So we have to be out of here uh, within the 14 day limit. So that's gonna be in about four days. And then I'm headed to Idaho. My client has some land up there for me to stay on and I'm hoping it all works out really well. Especially with the internet connection, I guess that's the thing that I'm probably most concerned about. Um, but we'll see when we get there. And I'm gonna stop a little, a few little places along the way in Utah. See my friend Chris, if you might remember her from last year, right before I went to um, Alaska. I stayed in the Salt Lake City area with her. So anyways, oh, what a beautiful day outside. Well, hello again. It's um, not a couple days later. And we are all moving to the Salida, Colorado area. Mark and Shay are gonna be about five days behind me. Shay's actually finishing up her two years worth of studying for nursing school. So um, she's gonna stay where she's at, finish that up over the next couple of days and then meet me in Salida, her and Mark. So um, we are still in flag stuff right now. I'm gassed up, I'm ready to go. I keep wearing this these days, that uh, P95 mask is pretty hot and this is great if I just want to pop in and out of places really quick so um, I wear this just kind of around my neck sometimes when I'm traveling so that I can just pop it on really quick. Sorry I'm looking at this lady, she's got this cat, do you see it? It's a kitty cat. <laughs> you ready? <gasps> you ready? <laughs> hmm, I love it when her ears do that when I say, are you ready? Yeah. All right, I'm ready. We're headed out. Um, I think I'm probably only going to make it to Gallup, New Mexico today. It's about maybe three hours from here, a little less than that. But uh, it's already four o'clock and the sun goes down in three hours and four minutes. So um, perfect timing. I'll just stay at a Cracker Barrel tonight and um, hunker down over there until the morning and just head on over to Salida at some point um, over the next couple of days. All right, guys, I'll see you on the road. Well, my plan to stay in Gallup, New Mexico at the Cracker Barrel failed miserably. When I got to Gallup, there were military police and local police at every exit off the highway, prohibiting non-locals from entering the city. It just so happens that the governor of New Mexico had issued a state of emergency for Gallup the very day I was to arrive due to the rampant cases of COVID in Gallup from the neighboring Navajo Indian Reservation. So I had no choice but to continue on to the next town, which was Grants, New Mexico, and I found a place to park. For the night. It's definitely weird times out there and does make moving the van to remote locations more challenging with the closures so you have to really plan ahead and have a couple of other options just in case plan A or plan B don't work out. I will say though I am so excited to get to Colorado and enjoy the BLM land, the mountains, and the solitude. Don't get me wrong I am so thankful for the Thousand Trails campground in Palm Desert for allowing us to continue extending until it was time to move on due to the triple digit heat and the campground closing for the season. Okay, so here's the new site. It's actually uh, off this road. It's a little uh, circle. I'll show you in just a second. But these are the views. It's beautiful. This is the land. Look at these beautiful trees. And I think we could probably get a hammock in those trees and some nice shade. Uh, let me step back here a little bit so you can see the full scope of it. Oh, it is beautiful here, over here in uh, the Salida, Colorado area. You can see the mountains, maybe a little bit. There you go. Oh, yeah. Lily and I are just on a walk, and uh, oh, look my my shiny on my chest, my arms maybe. <laughs> I don't know why I never thought about getting spray-on sunscreen. I'm just getting way too tan. I don't like it. So. Um, I mean, sun is great for vitamin D and everything, but uh, I just don't put a, the sunscreen on enough to, you know, protect myself. Because I usually am just kind of going in and out or 
of course like this when I'm walking. Sorry, it's so shaky, isn't it? Whew. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, but I'm out of breath because these hills are really big and I'm still trying to get all my walking in. I'm just use this arm. Anyway, so yeah, it is beautiful over here. I'm so glad I came out here from Flagstaff and uh, decided to come to Colorado. Come on, Lily. Lily, she's gonna go potty. So yeah, things are starting to open up a little bit, but it doesn't mean that we're not staying safe. Um, there are some escapers that I think are coming out here, and um, but we're all keeping our distance, and but we have each other, you know, which is nice. It feels like you have this, oh, sorry, it's very windy too. You have this great support network, and whether we're close to each other in a campsite or we're not, and but we're in the same area, it just feels good to have that support network here. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off until <laughs> we get back to the RV. Let me show you the beautiful view over here. Look at that. Oh, it's stunning. Stunning. Look at that. Oh, I love Colorado. This is a place that I haven't gotten to explore very much. So hopefully this year with things opening up a little bit and practicing safety, we can do a little exploring. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for life to uh, go back to normal. I don't know if it'll ever be normal again, the way it was before, but at least in a world where we can move around a little bit more. Alright guys, damn it. Okay guys, so I was just around this corner over here, and it's literally just kind of through the woods right there. But I moved over here to this new spot because it's my favorite. I've stayed over here once before, and you'll see why. It's beautiful. So it's a little bit more secluded. It's still kind of that turn style, uh, roundabout, I guess. Um, but look, we have these two huge trees that kind of give, so, give us some privacy from the road. But here's my favorite part, these rocks and the trees. So these trees are much better. Uh, they're the same kind of trees, but they seem to be closer together and not so bushy where we can put hammock. You can kind of see right here several spots but look at these beautiful rocks i love these rocks to sit on and meditate full sun so sun comes up there's the sun bright over there and then it kind of comes up this direction and sets over there yeah so beautiful beautiful views Can you guess what I'm doing? Do you see it swinging? Yep, I'm in the hammock. Baby! Don't look at my dirty feet. <laughs> There's a lot of dust out here and they're so tan. And my nails, oh my God. It's gel nail polish and I can't get it off. I need a professional help. Lily, you enjoying this? Hi girl. There's another hammock over there if you can see. Right through there. That is Mark and Chase hammock. And there's their rig. Mark's actually doing a project right now. And my rig is right there. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Salida, Colorado. Ah, oh, it's amazing. This is my view from the hammock, the trees. I love this area. It's a beautiful grove of trees. So we're just doing some social isolation out here. It's beautiful and just amazing. I'm so glad that I'm with some friends and not by myself right now. We actually saw a few other escaper friends out here and uh, I think we might get together tomorrow and have a little bit of a um, kind of uh, get together. We're gonna do lunch out here, but we've got this big, huge area that you just saw. So we'll keep all of our um, chairs and stuff really far apart from each other. and. Uh, be able to congregate but from a social distance and be safe still so everybody's bringing their own lunch with them and we're just providing a nice spot for us to be here so there'll be about seven or eight of us um, here time to read a book i'm reading this book called you can see it's called the hero's journey or living the hero's journey and it's a really great book actually it's uh it's just a good read it's a great way to uh, live life and um, especially right now during all this stuff with COVID, it just seems pretty relevant. So I started reading it before COVID, but 
I lost. There's so much to do and so many things going on that um, I'm getting to it kind of slowly. So, anyways, but it's hammock time. I'm gonna read my book. Lily's in my lap. It's a good day. It's beautiful outside. All right, guys. I hope you guys are all having an amazing time out there wherever you're at as well. See you later.